<laughs> yeah, get out of my video. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I've not done a video update in a while. The car is coming along famously, and I'm just terrible at videotaping things while I'm actively doing them. So yesterday I finished relocating the battery to the trunk. Um, I will link in the description to the fabricator I got the kit from. Um, it is a really all-inclusive kit, included all the wiring necessary, the fusible link from the Evo 10, um, a fabricated bracket made out of steel, all in all, it's a great kit. Um, I spoke with him directly. His name is Darren. He's a good guy, a uh, fellow veteran, and he is working on kind of like a, a little instruction sheet just to kind of show where the correction, uh, the connections go on the feasible link when you're hooking it all up. So expect that in future purchases. The price was definitely um, competitive compared to some of the other brands that make uh, the, the bracket and the feasible link, uh, kit for battery relocation. Um, I'll try to post some screenshots in this video of, uh, the work I did. It's super easy. Um, I'm super ADD and I was trying to multitask a lot of things uh, going on at once. I'm rebuilding the throttle body, uh, still messing around with gauge wiring. So lots of projects all at once, but if I had just sole focus on the uh, relocation project, I could have been done with it in like two solid hours. And that includes drilling holes to use rip nuts to mount the, or to secure the battery box and everything. Um, super easy install. You just pop the door sill trims on the front and rear driver's side doors and just pull off the, uh, the pillar trim right here. Can't remember what the hell that's called, but it covers up the seat belt. So you just pop that off and then run your power cable. And I I ran mine through the grommet that sits right behind the uh, fuse box. I just shoved a knife through there because that thing is super tight and you can't use the, uh, the hole that all the fuse wires go through because it's closed on the fender side. So I just shoved a knife through there, made another hole Spray some WD-40 and jam the freaking four gauge uh, power wire through. So got all that done and <laughs> my battery's dead from sitting around not being hooked up for almost a month and a half. And I went to test all the gauges and like a boob I hooked up the voltage gauge directly to the battery. So I had to disconnect that and then I've got a basically going to hook five gauges into one fuse outlet, which isn't an issue. It's got, you know, two 15 amp fuses on it, so it'll be fine. Other than that, uh, the motor came in, so props to Busher Racing on quoting me at a six to eight week lead time and 
I got the motor in like four. So that was pretty sweet. The head is in, everything's ready to go for uh, the weekend after we get back from visiting family for Thanksgiving. Um, the fuel system is the last bit of major uh, components that I'm waiting on, and that should be here this week, but again, we'll be gone. So starting next weekend, we'll be polishing up everything um, outside of engine assembly, and then the weekend after that is when I'm going to start assembling the motor. So I'll definitely do uh, a video on the, the motor assembly and a couple other things, you know, some screenshots here and there, updates along the way. Um, looking to have the car fully put back together and tuned before Christmas. So that is the goal, that is the timeline. We will see what happens. Um, if you're new to my channel, like and subscribe. Please uh, help support it. I can't promise that you'll like all of my content because it's all super random and I'm unapologetically uh, happy about that because I think too many channels focus on one thing and that's all that they focus on. You might get a video of me taking a poop one day. Who knows? Probably not. <laughs> That'll probably get taken off YouTube. But then again, there's some crazier shit on YouTube these days. But having said that, uh, this channel is related to me, my family, my kids, my wife, and we're gonna do silly shit and then we're gonna do car stuff, especially once the car's running, because uh, I think Uber rides in a 600 plus horsepower car is gonna be pretty entertaining. So look forward to that in the future. If you're coming from Instagram, leave a comment, say what's up. I try to respond to all comments, mainly because I get like 20, so <laughs> it's really easy to comment and uh, reply. But other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. And I mean, get outside. It's beautiful, it's 60 degrees here in North Georgia, driving to South Carolina, and then on to Pennsylvania where it's not beautiful and it's fucking cold. So wish us luck. Thumbs up. Don't forget to uh, turn on the notification bell on this YouTube channel. You'll get notifications every time he posts a, posts a new video. What the midget with glasses said. Yeah.